In this video today, I'm going to show you how to build your own Google Home or Google Assistant right now, right? Cool. Hey, how are you doing, everyone? Once again, this is Dario from Media Box ENT. And like always, I got some cool video for you. Today, we're going to build a Google Assistant or Google Home step-by-step step. the cool thing in this video is going to show you how to build it i have the block tool where i show you all the parts you need everything if you decide to make one like this looks pretty cool let's give you a shot let me try now let's so you can see okay let's play again all right i've got lucky trivia daily disposition sound safari and more have your pick sound safari <laughs> Hey there, welcome to Sound Safari. Explore an animal frontiers with our ears. I'm Una Dugan. Nice to meet ya. They've got long, skinny necks All right. and legs. So, pretty cool, right? You guys got the idea how this thing works? I mean, pretty cool. You can have actually a full conversation with this thing. It's real cool. We'll, we'll read the news, time, weather, all kind of things. But they're nice. You're going to build it yourself. And the next project after this, we're going to build the Google. We're going to build actually an Alexa. Okay, so this is the next one coming up. I hope in about a week we get the Alexa. We got some more the cool projects coming up. So check the video now how to build a step by step this cool, cool project. All right, bye. All right, so let's look the parts what we need. Okay, that we see there. Okay, so we need the Raspberry Pi. First, we're going to need some type of box. Okay, I'm using the acrylic box. Okay, some speaker can be any speaker. The microphone, the USB mic. You can always use a camera too. In our K barn with the light, that looks pretty cool. All right, and also 16 gig uh, memory card. You can get eight, and they are real cheap today anyway. Some hardware to be able to mount everything. Okay, Raspberry Pi 3, and jumper cables to be able to do some connection. And then the next, we get the mini amp. Um, the power is not enough from the Raspberry Pi, so you need some type of amplifier. I just out of the wires there. We're gonna put five bolts. Uh, through the Raspberry Pi, two to put in the speaker. You can side or use a quick disconnect like me. And the 1A connector, we're going to output from the Raspberry straight from the amp. And that's a, for $4, that's a real powerful uh, mini amp. Looks pretty cool. But give me an easy way. Just so you can buy any speaker. Uh, you don't need to be Bluetooth, all right? And you can input right there from the Raspberry Pi. And that's perfect if you don't know how to solder or if you don't have a solder station, that will be an easy way to actually do it. So that's it. That's all the parts we need to build the system. Now, let me show you real fast. You know, only like 30 seconds. How we went through the building the box. Make sure if you're going to use acrylic, try to get the right bit. Because if not, you're going to be cracking the acrylic. Um, I always pay the challenge in the beginning and figure out everything out. The box I thought would be a small. Uh, almost everything fit. Perfect. Right there, we make the holes for the speakers. So we think I'm pretty cool. It actually, it took me a while. I spent almost all day to figure out these things out. But I think the next one's going to be much faster since I know exactly what I need to do to be able to mount all the parts. And let me show you how the the actually box is going to look now after we did all all the holes. And then you can see right there, okay, with everything done. All right, so everything looks cool. And the next part now, I'm going to show you how we're going to be wearing this. All right. This is, we're going to be powered up from um, Raspberry Pi. We know that, that those first pins are plus five, plus five, and then the next one are ground. So from there, I'm going to be able to power up my amp by using the, the second and the third pin. So my plus uh, five in the ground. So right there, we already powered up the amp using the Raspberry Pi. Okay, and the next... You got to put the button in the LED light, as you see right in the drawing. So we need to install this switch. So we need to go into port 23 and the ground. And if the easy way is you count from the 5 volt 8 spots. Okay, if you count the right from there, the number 8 will be the 23 port. So you're going to put one port. And the next two right on the left side is going to be your ground. Okay, and that's, that will be the switch. And then the spot number 11, if you come to front from the plus 5 volts, that will be your LED, all right? You ground for the LED, 
that is uh, 25 and then we, we can plug right in the first one the plus 5 volts okay so now we're gonna put the plus 5 all right right there and the first port so that we power it up now we count 11 spots as port 25 and they said that's the only thing you got to do we get the whole thing wire everything is done um nothing much on wire now a few seconds video so i show you what the thing look like when we put everything together we just mount the raspberry pi okay let's put the power actually the power i used uh, five volts Oh, and you can use any from the phone char phone charger. You can even power up from your computer. I decided to use use USB cable and test to use a dedicated uh, transformer. That way, I can plug it in my computer and in the hub. I can take it anywhere or even use my phone charger. Okay, and that will work perfect. You don't need to put any dedicated uh, okay. Well, let's say it's working perfect. Looks real nice, and that's done. So the next step, uh, we can actually. Uh, dedicated to the software we're gonna put the codes and get this thing all right so the first thing we need to go to the page uh, in the description line of the video is going to be the link okay so when we go down we see all the parts okay if you need to click any of those parts you can check it out we go down the first thing we need to get now we need to get the image all right the image is compressed but no problem we're going to download this software and this software is going to burn it right into the memory and you don't need to unzip it Okay, so let's let's give it a shot. Let, let me show you. So let's run the software. Okay, right over here. Okay, we already downloaded. That's here. This is a compressed format. No worry. This will take care of that for you. Okay, so we're going to select the image. I know it's in my desktop. Okay, right there. But it's still fine. So we're going to flash it. And that's it. It takes about six minutes. Let's put this okay. Okay, so we got the Raspberry running for the first time. Uh, you're going to need a mouse and a keyboard for this, okay? Uh, first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to fix my video. If you have any problem with the video that looks too small, so we go preference right over here, okay? And configuration. And let's check resolution. And let's make it so it looks better and bigger right there. Put OK and we need to reset. All right, so we got it. So we're gonna the first thing we're gonna do, we're going to preference. Okay, config. My first thing I'm gonna do actually I'm gonna rename it. I'm gonna call the Google Voice. All right, and interface, we're gonna turn on the SSH. If you want the BNC to control it from the desktop, you can do that too. At this point, that's the only thing we're gonna be doing. That's it, nothing more okay you click okay and we're gonna reboot one more time okay so they asked me to change your password we're gonna click here and we're gonna type this okay and we're gonna change the password done Okay, we're going to come back later on here to make all the changes. Okay, so we're going to click this. So now we got to turn on the Wi-Fi. Okay, right there. It's already on. So let me log in. Okay, perfect. Now we go into the browser. Okay, we're going to go into the console. Uh, you need to create an account. You're going to need to sign in to Google. If you don't have a Google account, you're going to have to create one. Okay, you can do that maybe in another computer. It makes much easier, and then you come back and sign in. So let's go in. All right, so soon we'll again, we need to create a project. Since I have already a project on it, my screen looks a little different. But we're going to go this way, okay? We're going to click here. I'm going to hit a new project. Let's call it voice dash three. Let's save it. Okay. Let's go back there so we can see it because actually it will take a while to show up. Oh. 
Okay, voice three, so we're gonna click on it. And we are right over here in voice three, that's the first project. Okay, then we need to look for the IPI. So it's Google Assistant, we're gonna click on it. All right, right over here. We can enable. Perfect. Okay. Now we need to create a credential. Okay. We're going to click. That's it. We're going to click right there to get one. Okay, just, just call it voice dash three. You can call it whatever you want. We're gonna click save. Okay, we click other, create. That's okay, we put okay. Done, at this point we're gonna download. Okay, it's gonna download the file, the client finish now we can quick this up all right we start there and we look into the download directory all right and this one we're going to rename it right now okay so we rename it to assistant you put okay right over here we're going to take this file and we're going to drop it right into the pi into the main root directory right there okay that's it okay done so our next step now we're going to run the terminal all right let's look the first line okay we're going to run lead pad we get right over here okay we're going to execute that and we need to go down and if you see on the page go all the way down okay as we see there we activate this we're going to close the next ones so let's go right there okay and we're gonna activate the first one. That's it. We save it. We done this part. Let's save it. Let's quit this. And to make much easier for me and to go faster, we're gonna run SSH. So I got SSH here. We're gonna minimize my Raspberry Pi. It makes much easier to do this part because you can copy and paste all right, to make the video a little faster, but go ahead, you can use your Raspberry Pi as well. Okay, so the next one, we're gonna do this line. I'm gonna paste it right there. We're gonna delete everything from here. Right there, we're gonna, cap the whole, we're gonna copy the whole line. Right there, we paste it. Control X, yes, save it, enter, done. Okay, we move to the next line. All right. Need to go down over here. I'm gonna delete this. Okay, and we replace it with this. We copy, paste it. Right there, done. Control X, yes, done. Okay, at this point, we can test audio, but we're going to have to actually reset the machine now. So let's reboot it. Okay, we are back. So let's do another configuration here. We're going to go into the Raspberry. Okay, preference. And we go into sounds and device. Right there is already activated. All right, we're going to set control right there. Let's click on it. All right. Let's go all the way. Let's go to the second one. Say control, mic. All right, over again. That's it. Let's bring these all the way up. And that's it. Let's see if everything got checked. Let's double check. Okay. Perfect. That's the way we want it. All right. Okay, so now we can check. We can do that if you want. Let, let, let's do a little check. If we click here 
and the configuration here, we can copy the first line and try the speaker. But before we try the speaker, actually, it's going to play right on my uh, my monitor. But I want to go through the actual speaker. So we're going to force this up to go to the speaker. All right. And that's an exchange. We have to do that. We could not do it in the beginning before because we didn't have the drivers. OK, so we're going to run the sudo raspy config one more time. OK, and we're going to go into the bands audio and we need to force it to the uh, 3.5 millimeter or the 1.8 okay that's it so that should force to go into my speaker so let's try let's see if this works let's give it a shot one second all right Front, left, perfect Front, left, see left. it's working we can try the recording too let's see if it works the recording let's copy the whole line right there okay and let's do that testing 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 one two three testing okay that should be okay and let's play the record okay see if it goes put the volume up testing 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 one two three testing done that should be okay perfect okay so at this point we can run the actually program okay so that we're going to have to do it right over here right on the main Raspberry Pi, okay, so right there, okay, let's run it. Now it's going to open the web page. That's what I, I did that in the beginning, where we set up and we download everything and we configure. it. All right, so let's wait a second. Let's choose the account. We allow. And it's done. We close the window. But you got one more thing to check. If we go right right in the browser and we go to the original project all right we need to go all the way almost all the way down okay and right over here so the first thing you got to do here now when you sign in make sure you turn the location on you have to turn all this on and voice and audio activation okay that's the only thing you're gonna have to do that's it it's done so this is wedding so let's give it this a shot let's see if it's working one two three one two three sorry i'm not sure how to help it's working it's working already okay so now we need this to start every time you reset your machine you want this to start all the time so at this point we're going to edit the rc local so we're going to type this run the command line Right set right there, and we're gonna add this line. So the service will start. We go after F. So we go right there. Paste it. Enter. Control X. Yes. Okay, it's done. So at this point, you already set up your own Google Assistant. That's it. It's that simple. So what do you think? You got the guts to build it. You're gonna build one. I'm sure you're gonna build one. So make sure leave a comment, and you don't want. Send the pictures to us. Post in our uh, Facebook media box ENT. I would love to see those pictures, how this thing coming up. And I'll see you next time. Bye.